Hello, my name is Wes Yehola. I am part of the morning show on 98.1 The Max. We play rock and roll, and I'm reading the children's classic Frog and Toad, one of the mini books in there. And I've got a few stories from this one that I'm going to read. Here we go. This first one is called The Corner. Frog and Toad were caught in the rain. They ran to Frog's house. I am all wet, said Toad. The day is spoiled. Have some tea and cake, said Frog. The rain will stop. If you stand near the stove, your clothes will soon be dry. I will tell you a story while we are waiting. Oh, good, said Toad. When I was small, not much bigger than a pollywog, said Frog, my father said to me, Son, this is a cold gray day, but spring is just around the corner. I wanted spring to come. I went out to find that corner. I walked down a path in the woods until I came to a corner. I went around the corner to see if spring was on the other side. And was it? asked Toad. No, said Frog. There was only a pine tree, three pebbles, and some dry grass. I walked into the meadow. Soon I came to another corner. I went around the corner to see if spring was there. Did you find it? asked Toad. No, said Frog. There was only an old worm asleep on a tree stump. I walked along the river until I came to another corner. I went around that corner to look for spring. Was it there? asked Toad. No, said Frog. There was only some wet mud and a lizard chasing its tail. You must have been tired, said Toad. I was tired, said Frog, and it started to rain. I went back home. When I got there, said Frog, I found another corner. It was the corner of my house. Did you go around it? asked Toad. I went around that corner too, said Frog. What did you see? asked Toad. I saw the sun coming out, said Frog. I saw birds sitting and singing in a tree. I saw my mother and father working in their garden. I saw flowers in the garden. You found it, cried Toad. Yes, said Frog. I was very happy. I had found the corner that spring was just around. Look, Frog, said Toad. You were right. The rain has stopped. Frog and Toad hurried outside. They ran around the corner of Frog's house to make sure that spring had come again. This next story from Frog and Toad all year is the surprise. It was October. The leaves had fallen off the trees. They were lying on the ground. I will go to Toad's house, said Frog. I will rake all of the leaves that have fallen off his lawn. Toad will be surprised. Frog took a rake out of the garden shed. Toad looked out of his window. These messy leaves have covered everything, said Toad. He took a rake out of the closet. I will run over to Frog's house. I will rake all of his leaves. Frog will be very pleased. Frog ran through the woods so that Toad would not see him. Toad ran through the high grass so that Frog would not see him. Frog came to Toad's house. He looked in the window. Good, said Frog. Toad is out. He will never know who raked his leaves. Toad got to Frog's house. He looked in the window. Good, said Toad. Frog is not home. He will never guess who raked his leaves. Frog worked hard. He raked the leaves into a pile. Soon Toad's lawn was clean. Frog picked up his rake and started home. Toad pushed and pulled on the rake. He raked the leaves into a pile. Soon there was not a single leaf in Frog's front yard. Toad took his rake and started home. A wind came. It blew across the land. The pile of leaves that Frog had raked for Toad blew everywhere. The pile of leaves that Toad had raked for Frog blew everywhere. When Frog got home, he said, tomorrow I will clean up the leaves that are all over my own lawn. How surprised Toad must be. When Toad got home, he said, Tomorrow I will get to work and rake all of my own leaves. How surprised Frog must be. That night, Frog and Toad were both happy when they each turned out the light and went to bed. That's the end of those two stories of five in Frog and Toad all year. Thanks for listening, and I encourage you to keep learning how to read and keep learning how to read forever. Reading is the key to everything. Reading will make your life nothing but better. So please read. Thank you.